Hello, my name is Paul Young. On behalf of my co-author, Brett Tangadol, I'm pleased to offer you this video introduction to our paper on Piatic Multiple Zeta and Log Gamma Functions, which is to be published in the Journal of Number Theory. Multiple Zeta Functions were defined and studied by E.W. Barnes around 1900, and these are n-dimensional analogs of the Hurwitz Zeta Function. You take a, sim a single linear form in n variables with n plus 1 parameters and sum it as a Dirichlet series in the complex variable s. It converges for the real part of s greater than n, but it has a meromorphic continuation to the entire complex plane with n poles. The partial derivative of this function with respect to s at s equals 0 gives you the multiple log gamma function, and it's viewed as a complex function of one of the parameters, x, and n other parameters. The values of multiple zeta functions at the negative integers are given in terms of higher order Bernoulli polynomials, and these multiple Bernoulli polynomials also occur in an asymptotic expansion due to Barnes for the multiple log gamma function. What Brett Tangadol and I set out to do was to offer a piatic analog of these functions. Uh, we took the same linear form, but instead of summing it as a Dirichlet series, we integrate it uh, using the piatic Wolkenborn integral over n copies of the ring of piatic integers. Since this ring is compact, you have to put the poles in manually in order to get a meromorphic function. But once we do this, we obtain a function that has remarkably similar properties to the complex functions that were defined by Barnes. The partial derivative with respect to the piatic variable s at s equals zero of the multiple zeta function is our piatic multiple log gamma function. We found a number of properties uh, of these functions, including a difference equation, a homogeneity property, a distribution relation, and calculated its values at the negative integers. And these all agree exactly with the same formulas that Barnes found for his functions, up to an algebraic factor that has e Wasawa logarithm zero. In addition, we found a reflection formula for our functions uh, with respect to the parameters that is not the analog of any property of Barnes's function, and this is very interesting here. Probably the most important aspect of our work on these functions was expansions that we produced for them for pianically large values of x. We have a piatic uh, expansion for our multiple zeta function and for the multiple log gamma function in, uh, involving the Iwasawa logarithm and powers of 1 over x, uh, which is exactly the same as Barnes's asymptotic expansion, with the exception that the error term vanishes. So where Barnes has an asymptotic expansion, we have an exact convergent expansion. Our motivation for this was to investigate conjectures of Stark piatically. In particular, there's a version of Stark's conjecture due to Gross, a piatic version, which basically says that you should have piatic partial zeta functions attached to abelian extensions of number fields. And the exponentials of their partial derivatives at s equals zero should be piatic Stark units, which can be used to generate the abelian extensions. And so what we've been done, what we've been doing with our functions is using them to conduct systematic computations verifying Gross's conjecture piatically over real quadratic fields. In particular, we've also been able to con construct explicit class fields using piatic analysis and only information from the ground field, which is quite in the spirit of Hilbert's fourth problem. Well, that's a quick introduction to our paper. I hope you're motivated to read it. Cheers!